So if you see any white uh, stuff on my face, that's sunblock. I went to go squeeze some out and it went bloop, and I had a big handful of it. So <laughs> I had to use it for something. Um, uh, I'm not gonna go down to Columbine Lake. What Chris was saying, the guy that I met uh, when I got up here, uh, <laughs> just from like the snow field, it took him like 45 minutes to get back up, and this is 0.2 miles. He said it was a really, well, I won't say the words he used, but it was a heck of a hike getting back up. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go down to Columbine. Um, I'm gonna go back down to Monarch. I still have some water left, and I should should last until I get at least to Mar Monarch. Uh, at which point I will fill up. I've got a little less than four hours of light remaining now. I may end up hiking in the dusk or dark, um, but I'm gonna get going. I'm still not quite sure how I plan on getting down, whether I'm just gonna try and follow the trail again, or if I'm gonna just scramble. <laughs> I just want down off this stupid pass. It's, it was extremely difficult. <laughs> extremely difficult. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm gonna get my pack on. Leaving the pass at 327. Looks like there's a couple backpackers headed up. That's gonna take them a while. I think I'm gonna have to do this portion on my butt. <clears throat> Heads up below!
There we go. Much more controlled. How cold? Oh, it feels amazing. <laughs> You all right? Oh. One of these days I'll do that, but... <laughs> No, not usually. I mean, I I know I would feel reinvigorated after, but I don't like ice cold water. <laughs> it's my mini shower. Yeah. I uh, rub the important bits. That's right. Ah, <laughs> oh, you little bastard. Oh, he got me. Well, I got him too. <laughs> Dang it! I was hoping I'd get out scot free. Sure is pretty. What's that? That's wistful. Uh, yeah, true, true. <laughs> They've been doing pretty good so far. <laughs> yeah. If I get the chance to, I'd love to do Kilimanjaro. As long as you don't, uh, like, mountain climbing isn't required, which I don't think it is. But for Kilimanjaro, you can just hike into any mountain climbing? I think. I could be wrong. You still need to hire a guide. Probably. That's my understanding. You, yeah, they, they'll carry all your stuff for you, and you still need to do acclimation and whatnot. Yeah. So it'll be still a bit of a... I don't remember how high it is, but I know it's pretty high. It's pretty high. <laughs> I think in the 20s, but not not as obviously not as high as Everest. Maybe it's the second because I know Denali is the third highest in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So Kilimanjaro might be second. Maybe. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to do that, but. <laughs> That's what dreams are for. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But for now, I'm working on the JMT and hopefully soon the PCT. But I'm not sure quite how I'm going to do that. Unless, you I mean. Are you section hiking it? Maybe not. Well, I would probably end up section hiking it just because unless I quit my job, yeah. there's no way. Mm -hmm. But I don't particularly look forward to the 700 miles of desert. <laughs> Yeah. I really want to go to Glacier National Park. It's one of the parks that's like, uh, been on the list for a while. Now that I've done a bunch of the California ones, I've, I've more or less seen, seen enough. Like, I, more or less the same. No matter where you go. Yeah. The Glacier is the next. And I found flights from Oakland. Kalispell, which is like uh, the, the airport for the city closest to the glacier. Round trip, $86. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's basically free. Yeah. 
I was like, shit, I want to go right, right now. And it's not for just a, like a weekend. It's for like 11 days. Oh my gosh. 11 day round trip flight, $86. That's nothing. That's nuts. That's nuts. And the best part is, if you don't if you don't have a car, you can actually get away without it. Because there is a free shuttle during like the peak summer season. Uh huh. That goes from the airport directly to Glacier National Park. That's great. My shuttle. And even National Parks pack is free. Otherwise you pay some nominal amount, whatever. Yeah. And then within Glacier National Park, there's like a shuttle system that takes you from like the west side to the east side or something like that. Uh-huh. It's a little more difficult to get from north to south, but you can probably hitchhike it or just, you know, hike it. Yeah. I've had to hitchhike a couple times in the Sierra, and both times, man, the first person I asked, I got a ride. I, I was really blessed with that. <laughs> I was thinking it'd be entertaining to have a hitchhiker. God, the guy was stone cold silent. Really? Yeah, I was like, okay, well, I'm giving you a ride all the way. I'm, I'm taking a 40 minute detour to get you to Sacramento. Huh. And you're not gonna give me entertainment value of a story? Yeah, really. Like one story, I had like four stories out there. I'm like, so where are you going? To uh, Sacramento? <laughs> what are you doing there? I'm just, just gonna be there. I was like, what the heck? Wow. What a riveting, riveting thing. <laughs> I think he was homeless, like legitimately. Oh. <laughs> oh well. Lesson learned. I, I've picked up people before, but I, I kind of stick to uh, hikers. <laughs> yeah, me too. He was, the, the thing is, he was at he was at Shasta. Oh, was he? Yeah, I picked him up like on a freeway by Shasta. So I was like, oh, he must be a hiker. He had a hiking backpack. Or backpacking bag or whatever. Well, I, I've actually run into like legitimately homeless people who are just hiking. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but. I was like, so my, my, my buddy was like, where are you coming from? He's like, mountains. I was like, <laughs> wow. Did we see you up at Mount Jones? He's like, I don't know. You should have been like, I'm sorry, that was too specific. Could you be more vague? <laughs> I should have just like, get the fuck out of my car, because you're boring me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was like, as soon as I picked them up and started, started having a conversation with them, like, we were in the road, I was like, shit, I can't, like, I wouldn't go slow, because I would just slide down. Yeah, <laughs> right? Or or some spree or something. Yeah. Well, no, I don't want spree. Not with these shoes. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> you might not have shoes by the time you get down. Both times I've been at Whitney, I'm looking down from like the switchbacks and I'm like, I really want a hang glider right now. <laughs> a zip line, a parachute, something. What's the highest elevation you've been? Uh, yeah, Whitney, Whitney, yeah. It's the highest mountain in the 48 states. That's right. Well, okay, if, if you want to count elevation, I have been in, in planes, so. Sorry? <laughs> I, I, I mean, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> sure is pretty. You ever been up to Mount Hood? What's that? You ever been up to Mount Hood? No, I haven't. Me neither. <laughs> oh, I gotta have a little more shoes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 